Let's make the animations for our character. As you can see, we've already added the basic movement. We can move left, move right and jump. But our player is a simple static sprite. And for that, we'll need something else. And that is called Animated Sprite 2D. Let's create this one. And say goodbye to our old Sprite 2D. Let's delete this one. And after that, we need to click here on the Sprite Frames, New Sprite Frames. That will give us the table on the bottom where we can add our animations. So let's add the basic one. That will be called Idle. And let's add our first image, Idle 1. We can see that it's very blurry for now. Let's click here on the texture, filter and nearest. While you transform the image, simply hold shift to make the aspect ratio the same for the full process. That looks okay. And to make it a proper animation, we have to add the second frame. And in this case, it will be idle too. And we can play it to check if it works. And it's very simple animation, but yeah, it works. And don't forget to change the name of our animation. That is idle. And we can click auto play on load. Let's run. And you can see that our character is moving. Nice. That first animation looks great, but let's add another one. And this one will be more complex. Let's call it run. Let's check if it's okay. Yeah, it looks a bit weird for now, but it definitely is animating. Let's get to our code, because here we'll need to add a few lines to make our character animation change when it's needed. In the previous tutorial, we've added this line, sprite2d.flipH, but we no longer have that sprite because we've replaced it with animated sprite 2D. So let's change it. Animated sprite 2D. Great. And here in this if, we've got the logic for movement. So it's also a good place to change our animation for the run. And we can do that simply by getting our animated sprite 2D dot animation product to run. Let's check the idle animation that plays on the start and let's run to the left and let's run to the right. And it even rotates itself, but it doesn't get back to idle when we stop. We can easily fix that by copying this line and here in the else when we are not running, we can change it to idle. Yeah, it is great. The animation gets back to idle when we stop. And let's adjust our speed to 400. Yeah, it's better. And if you don't remember, we can do that on the fly because we've exported this for speed. The initial is 300, but we can change it as the game runs. And we can basically do that with almost any variable. Let's make our animation even better, because for now, it looks a bit weird. And to improve it, I'll add the first frame as an idle. And here we can increase the speed simply by increasing the FPS. Let's make it 8. And it even looks better for now. We can also make the frame duration of a single frame a bit longer. So when he is on the end of an animation, like here, with both legs up, I'll make it twice as long. And also here. And the animations in between will stay the same. Let's check. Let's change it even more. Let's increase the FPS to 12. And here, let's make it 3. Yeah, that looks good. And in the same way, we can make our player jump and fall. 
Let me know if you found it useful. Also, don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you've enjoyed it. Thank you for your time and bye.